Hey guys, and welcome back to Pond Bank Farms. I am on milking duty tonight, so I'm gonna be milking with Dad here. So it's Sunday evening here. We are about rounding the corner at the end here, and then we're on the last row. So as you can see, our empty stalls are filling up. We don't have a whole lot more left. Um, we still have a fair few, but we got incentive days next month. So we're getting amped up for that. You have a certain amount you're allotted to uh, sell each month based on how much quota you own and um, the incentive day is you get an extra day on top for that month. Milking's all done. Just gotta push feed in. And then we're done for the night. Oh, and also put that cow back in this pen here. Good morning. We are just uh, filling up the tractor with oil. Um, I dropped the oil there la uh, end of last week. And we're topping it up. We're gonna hook on the disc spine. And we're going out to cut. We got uh, about a 20 acre custom job and a bunch of our own hay um, to cut on some rented ground for heifers and dry cows. Okay, we got the disc spine ready to roll. Um, we're gonna do a small custom job and then we're doing our own. So we're having problems picking um, all the hay up going the one way. So you can see this here isn't quite cut as good as that strip. So going down this way, it's cutting it better. Coming back, not cutting as good. So the hay, it's all laying. It's uh, going down and it's uh, facing that way. So when we come this way, it picks it up great. Come the other way, not as much. Okay, I just stepped out here for a second. I'm just gonna show you here how the uh, weevil once it crawls up the alfalfa, you can see in there, it's all chewed up and uh, not getting a lot of value out of those leaves anymore. Um, that's why we were in a hurry to get ours cut when we did. Um, and we still have more, but what's left is more grassy, so um, I don't think it'll be as big of a deal, but um, that's exactly what happens there. The weevil starts at the bottom, crawls up the plant, and then, yeah, you can see how much you're losing there, so. Definitely time to get this cut. It wouldn't have hurt for him to get it cut last week or whenever we did there, but um, uh, it'll, it'll still be good feed and everything. Just uh, might be losing a little bit there. Anyway, back to work. So I just got a phone call from Dad. He's under the weather, so he's not going to be uh, cutting. So I guess that's going to be what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I was... Uh, kind of secretly pleased because I haven't got to cut much yet this year and I kind of enjoy it so while there is other things I could be doing I'd rather be cutting so um spraying will wait till tomorrow so over there is the corn that we had planted earlier this spring we are renting that field um there are some weedy spots uh further you can see where it's more green um fairly weedy so that got to get sprayed soon, but the corn's coming up good and uh, pretty even emergence, so we won't complain. Okay, that field's all done. Time for the next field. Well, we're cutting dry cow and heifer feed. It's uh, gonna make pretty good feed here. Um, as you can see, all the grass is pretty much in head, but 
still is very lush, so uh, should be great. Well, the sun just peeked out from behind the clouds now, so we're definitely going to need some of that to dry this down in the next few days here. Wow, this is nice and thick here. This is a uh, little 20 acre field here. Probably all I'll get done tonight. So let's play a little game. This is an 18 acre field. How many bales do you guess are gonna be on this field? Make your guess in these comments. And then in the next video, when we bale it, we'll reveal exactly how many it was. So guess how many bales you think is in the comments. It's an 18 acre field. And in the next video, we will reveal how many bales it was. The bales will be 62 inch round bales, or just a bit over five feet. I am gonna make a guess of 79. Um, but don't go by my guess, because I don't have any better idea than you do, really. And I'm sorry, I'm a small YouTuber, so I can't like give a card out or something to the winner. I'm sorry. But uh, I'll give you a shout out and uh, say who won, if that means anything. So there wasn't supposed to be a chance of rain for three days, and I don't like the way the clouds are looking at all. But uh, I don't know, it's still showing no chance, so. But it's sure looking like it could all some rain. And that's a wrap on this field. That's all we're gonna do today. Eight o'clock, sun's starting to set. Um, the grass is starting to get damp. We got 35, 40 acres down of our own. Um, and judging by how many bales we're gonna get, that'll be uh, plenty. That'll be plenty to wrap and get home. And then we wanna spread manure on here, so we'll have our work cut out to finish here. Well, we are home. Put the disc vine in the shed. I think we're done for the night. So, see you in the morning. Yeah, we are mixing sprays. So I'm wearing this lab coat today, as per my wife's request. Um, I've had it before, but I've tried wearing it once before when the sun was out, and uh, it didn't stay on very long. But I thought today is a cooler day, so I could uh, wear it, and I did wear it. But it is like an oven in there. You may as well um, stick me in the microwave and put it on for two minutes. I mean, it is brutal. Whew. Anyway. And it's like not even a warm day. But let's go get this sprayed. We got a uh, roundup in there, so we're gonna go spray our beans. And after that, maybe we can get sprayed in some corn. So this field here is a purely ex experimental. Um, we came in here and no-tilled it. We didn't pre-spray, we didn't disc it at all last fall. And we came in here with the air seeder, put beans in, and now we're spraying it. So, we'll see how it goes. I know, there's probably a lot of expert farmers out there that are like, that was stupid, and it probably was, maybe it was, I guess we'll see. It's only a 10 acre field, so, um, you don't wanna experiment with much bigger than that. Okay, that field's done. 25 more acres to do of this. Then we switch to corn. Well, it looks like the beans are starting to come up at this farm here. You can see some, some uh, coming through. Last trip. I have about 
35 acres of corn I uh, want to get sprayed today for sure. Um, the rest isn't too weedy yet. It needs to get sprayed, but uh, the pressing, pressing corn is uh, 35 acres, and I think we can get that done today yet for sure. Look at that. I was very close to being right there. There's probably like five gallons left, maybe. That's not too bad. Well, since we were going from spraying Roundup Ready beans to conventional corn, we got to wash the sprayer out. Um, three times, three cycles is generally what we do, so I'm just letting that uh, wash a bit right now. And it looks like Jake just fed the heifers. They look quite happy. Do you guys want to say anything? Excuse me? You like the food? Yes? Got a mix for 40 acres. Got our prime extra here. And we're gonna put some Armazon in. Some Armazon. Let's get this party started. Spraying corn. We put uh, about 5,000 gallons an acre on here, so, of manure, so, should be good. Now, I don't get the luxury of auto steer here, so, I gotta really focus on what I'm doing. It makes it hard to video, but we're doing our best. I probably ran over a few stocks just to get you this footage. There's that tiny little strip left there. The strip of shame? I, that sounds weird. Um, you know, like the road shame, but strip of shame. I don't know. But uh, we're just about finished up with this field here, and then uh, we're quitting for the night. Got something else going on tonight, so um, it's uh, my take on this field. Um, it's looking okay. Um, it's the land was extremely depleted, so it's definitely going to need either wide drop some uh, nitrogen wide dropped in or we're gonna have to broadcast some granular. Um, but it looks pretty good. I think it's, if we stay on top of it, as far as the nitrogen, I think it'll yield quite well. Maybe when we go to combine it, it might be a few notches drier, but. Pretty good year for corn, that's for sure. As you can see this here, is a little bit more dust, uh, or dusty. This here is a little bit more weedy, but that's uh, what we're doing should take care of that. And tomorrow we got to rake and bale that along with a farm, um, our own farm or farm we have rented. Hey guys, so I think that's going to wrap up this video, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos and uh, share it to your friends. Hit the like button, see you in the next one. And don't forget to comment on how many bales you think will be in that field.